The fast etude has the same key signature as the slow etude, B flat, E flat, and A flat. However, this one is in 2-4, which means that we have two beats in each measure. Each one is a quarter note. That being said, I would learn this the same way we talked about the slow etude, thinking first in the eighth note as your beat so that you can clearly play the 16th notes at the end of the piece. If I start with my eighth note at 60, this is how I would play the ending. that comfortably, then I would go back to the beginning and put the rest of the piece with it. Make sure you are using your round thumb as we have no B flats and B naturals in this entire etude. So there really is no reason to deviate from this thumb key unless of course we're playing C. Try to bring out the differences between the staccato eighth notes and the accented eighth notes as much as possible and always look for creating longer phrases through the use of our dynamics. The best way to achieve that is actually through slow practice of long tones so that you can learn the subtleties of the embouchure without having to go fast at first.